In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Amen. Uh, happy New Year to every one of you. We wish you all a very happy New Year. And also wish our beloved Father, Bob Abatawadros, and Amber David a very happy New Year. We pray this coming year to be a year of happiness, a, be a year of joy. I know 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of people. Especially in our church, so many people have been struggling. Uh, so many people passed away during the, you know, from the uh, coronavirus. We pray to God that actually we tell him, God, you know, lift up this virus from us. Actually, today we had a prayer meeting. And I, was, I love the prayer meeting because one of the little child was praying and said, God, help all of us to come back again to hug each other. It's a very simple way. He, his wish and his dream, he missed actually hugging everyone. For we pray this coming year will be a year of basically coming back to God. I also wish our beloved father, Abuna Moros, Abuna Mina, Abuna Merutius, Abuna Kolos, a very happy year. Wish all the father of the area a very happy year. On behalf of my fathers, all of them, wish you all a very happy year. May God bless you, may God protect you, and may God be with you all. Just uh, today, actually, I want to just quickly, there's a beautiful story in the Old Testament after the people of Israel came out of uh, Egypt. Then the, uh, then the Lord God appeared to Moses in Exodus chapter 12 and tell him, Moses, you know what? I want to change the calendar. I want to change the months of Nisan, which is the seventh month of the year. I want it to become the first month of the year. And he asked himself, why? What's the big deal? Why God want to change the calendar? And God what actually told Moses, I want it every time they celebrate the Passover, to remember that in the month of Nisan was the Passover. The month of Nisan is the month of salvation. The month of Nisan, all of you see the power of God. The hand of God, how God was so powerful to deliver the people out of the slavery to become free in God. It's a beautiful month for they change the calendar. The months of Nisan become the first months. And also every year, all of us will celebrate the new of the beginning year. The beautiful thing, actually, all of us, when we think about Sin and Medea, we're always related to 2020. Now we can say 2020 after Christ. But 20, 20 years ago was before Christ. For therefore, our Lord our God, Jesus Christ, is the center of this year. At the center, yes, the center of everything. And maybe all of us remembered one thing, what Christ has done for us. What Christ did for us. As we, a few days from now, we're going to celebrate the incarnation of our Lord God, Jesus Christ. Which is the most thing about the incarnation, Emmanuel, God being with us. Incarnation, God's appearance in the human flesh. For God wanted to remind Moses one thing. Remember the beginning of the year, very important that you remember how I delivered you out of slavery. The year that I give you so much power, and also the year that you received salvation from slavery and you became free again. And the only one can fulfill all of this is one person our Lord, our God, and our Savior Jesus Christ. That's why when we read the gospel today, when he walks in into the altar and he was praying, they give him a book to read. And it turned out to be Isaiah, the book for Isaiah. And he said, to proclaim acceptable year before God. And all of us who pray right now, I'm sure, during this prayer, God help this year to be acceptable year before the Lord. How help me with this 2021 to be a year of acceptable year? To accept acceptable year before the Lord God. لما صلى كده ودخل الهيك اللي يقول لك إيه مسك السفر وفتحه عليه وبشر بسنة مقبولة أمام الرب كلنا نصلي كده وإحنا في القداس نرد يقول يا رب اجعل السنة السنة يا رب السنة تكون سنة مقبولة أمامك يا ربي مقبولة في صلواتنا مقبولة في حياتنا مقبولة في دعوتنا فا I want to speak to you actually about a few things actually number one with the beginning of the year we call it the year of salvation year of salvation salvation happens through one thing so the beginning of the salvation is the incarnation of our Lord God, Jesus Christ. The incarnation, as much as it appeared for all of us, something very simple, but something very deep. One of the beautiful titles our Lord God, Jesus Christ, received, he said, Emmanuel, which means come, God come close to us, be with us. And by Musa one time, he said, we love God so much, not only he became close to us, but we can eat his body and drink his blood. As he said, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood, abide in me. 
فذيس از وي كول هيم جاد جراند ذا قد يصير تبير سالفيشن تكون سنه الخلاص نمبر 1 الخلاص من ايه؟ من المرض ده اللي هو ماسك العالم كله دلوقتي نقول له خلصنا يا رب فعلا خلصنا يا رب من هذا المرض او لود جاد سيرفيس كرايست تيل توماس وان توماس اسك هيم شو از ذا واي؟ هي سيد اي ام ذا واي ذا تروث اند ذا لايف نو وان كان كوم تو ذا فاذر اكسبت ثرو مي في في هاف اني سترجل ان يور لايف رايت ناو If you have any petition to your Lord God, our God is a, He's a Savior. He's the only one can save you. He's the only one can touch you. He's the one can listen to you. And we saw how He did to the, to the, to the Israelite, how He helped them to come out of Egypt with a strong and mighty hand. With a strong and mighty hand. Number two, actually, with the beginning of the year, actually, remind us a new covenant or a new beginning. All of us would like to start a new beginning. Even in our relationship with one another, if you are upset from somebody, can he still renew? For how beautiful, I hope tonight actually tell God, I want this coming year here to start a new beginning with me. But how to start a new beginning? How to start a new beginning? I love the most beautiful verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 5.17. He said, if anyone in Christ, he's a new person. You want to be start a new life? You want to start a fresh life? Make sure that are you in Christ or not? Are you with him or not? Forgive me, sometimes, يعني, سمحوني, sometimes only we are part-time with Christ. We are not a full-time with him. We only talk to him when we need him. But we do not connect him all day long with us. If anyone in Christ is a new person, you want to start a new beginning, you want a new person, become be in Christ. You want to ask one of the fathers, you go ask St. Moses, The black, he will tell you, before Christ and after Christ was a huge difference in my life. Before Christ, I was a killer. I was a robbery. But after Christ, I became a humble, a kind, and I became a lover. I love everyone equally. To the point that the people one time, they come to steal his seal. He actually went and helped them. Said, you want to help? I will help you. Because you know why? He ask Moses, what happened to you? Like, one reason only, I am with Christ. If I hope this year, actually, we need to come back to Christ. We need to come back to God. We need to come back to feel that God is actually, if anyone in Christ, are you in Christ or not in Christ? If you are in Christ, you will say with St. Paul, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 2, he said, I have been crucified with Christ. It's not no longer I live, but Christ lives in me. He moved me. He kinded me. He directed me. He helped me. He helped me in every step in my life right now. If anyone in Christ is a new person, I hope tonight together raise your hand, tell him, God, this is a year of salvation. Not only the year of salvation, the year of a new beginning, a new beginning with you, Lord. I want to start a new beginning. And the best way to start a new, which is the last point, actually, through one thing, turn back, turn back to God. We need to learn how to come back to God. Turn back to God. Repentance. Repentance in a very simple way. The word matanya in, the, in Greek means a change. A change in direction. If you want to start a new covenant with Christ, is you want to, if you want to enjoy the salvation of Christ, you must change. You must change. I tell you the truth, Siani. All of us who went through the experience of this year of March and April, you remember those days? I'm sure all of us, I'm one of you, I had so much promises to God. But after the country is open, and everything back to normal, the nature of us as a human, we forget everything. That's it. But come back again. Tell him, God, help me to change. If anyone in Christ will be a new person, for therefore, I hope this year to be the year of change. The year to come back to God. The year to turn around. The year to return back to God. And tell him, God, I want to return back to you. I love the story, actually, one of the beautiful stories in the Old Testament. In uh, Joshua chapter 24, when Joshua actually started the people drifting away from God, and everyone ran to his own gods, Joshua stood up in the middle and said, Look, do whatever you want to do, whatever God you want to worship, worship. But I decide, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. We are not going to serve anybody else. For the people of, at that time, actually, they start thinking twice. But they came to Joshua and said, no, we're going to want to come back to God. But Joshua actually told him, look, do you know what you're asking for? It's not easy to come back to 
He said, no, no, we want to come back to God. He said, but God will be jealous. If you decide to come back and you then you turn back away from him, he will be jealous. He will be angry on you. They said, we're going to come back to God. And Joshua gave them actually a beautiful condition. You will find the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 23. He said, incline your heart to the Lord. Turn. Incline your heart to the Lord. Return to God for one thing only. I want you to incline your heart to the Lord. I hope tonight you can ask God, I want to change, but the change will happen in my heart. You will hear in a little bit, Abuna will ask you, where is your heart? Where is your heart? If I hope this year to be the year of salvation, then I'm God save us. Save us, not only from the pandemic, but as I always say, there's different pandemic in our life. There's a different virus in our life. There's a different temptation in our life. For God save me, O Lord. The only way to do that is through one thing, when you start to actually a new life with Christ, and the condition to do that is through repentance. If I hope this year to be a different year. I know all of us who sit with each other today. I personally said I wrote some resolution, but normally Bab, the next resolution will always forget about it. But I hope to be one of your resolution tonight is one thing. I want to come back to God. I want to worship God. Joshua told the people, incline your heart to the Lord. Incline your heart, return to God from your heart. But do not just only turn to the Lord, but incline your heart to the Lord. Tell him, Lord, I want to change. There's a lot of things bad in me. In my heart. I have a lot of bad habits. I want to change. I want to be a new person with you, Lord. I want to be like St. Moses. I want to be like St. Mary the Egyptian. I want to be like any one of those people here. Because, Lord, I want to change. I want to change. I hope this coming year here, actually, I feel strongly the message of coronavirus or the pandemic maybe did not hit us yet. Time to start a new beginning. Time to start a new life. Time to start a new direction. Time to change and become close to God. I hope this year to be a beautiful year for each one of you. Taban, the last point which I want to mention, all the fathers in Narda, we had a conference call together, and we agreed that this year will be the year, the theme of the year will be about one thing, all God's promises. So make sure that you, when you pray, hold them God's promises. And hold in his, God's promises, remind him of his promises, and come back to God. May God bless you, and glory be to God forever and ever. I mean, I'm just going to say quickly in Arabic. كنت بتكلم يا حباي النهاردة أن كنت بتكلم في العهد القديم ربنا قال لموسى حاجة بسيطة جدا بعد ما خرجوا من الشعب من الشعب من, من أرض مصر قال له أنا عايز أغير الشهر شهر السابع اللي هو شهر نيسان عايز يكون أول الشهور ممكن ربنا عايز يقول لموسى حاجة واحدة بس عشان أول الشهور اللي هو أول السنة شهر نيسان ده الشهر اللي أنا خلصتكم من العبودية شهر أنا أعطيتكم الحرية من فرعون شهر أن أنتوا بداية بداية جديدة فإحنا بكرة بنحتفل بداية جديدة نقول له يا رب فعلا يا ربي عايزين البداية دي دي جديدة تكون مع ربنا مع المسيح نفسه وتكلمنا على ثلاث حاجات أول شيء أول لو عندك أي مشكلة في حياتك المخلص هو واحد بس ربنا يا السيد المسيح هو الوحيد اللي خلصك من أي مشكلة نمبر تو قلنا طب بهم بعد ما خرجوا بدأوا إيه نيو بدأ بداية جديدة قول له يا رب عايز أبدأ بداية جديدة يا ربي كيف تبدأ البداية الجديدة بحاجة واحدة بس إنك تتوب وتقدم توبة ارجعوا للرب بكل قلوبكم ويقول كده ما تمزقوش بس كده هدومكم ولكن تمزقوا ايه قلوبكم ربنا فعلا يدينا جميعا التوبة الحقيقية يجعل هذه السنة يا رب سنة مبروك علينا مبروك في حياتنا يبارك في كل واحد فيكم يا ربي وحي يعني if one thing I want to add I will be the last point I hope this year also to become a year of prayers صدقوني يا حبائي so many people right now in desperate of prayers as you know that so many people are sick, struggling. Some people passed away. For therefore, those people actually need a lot of prayer. For come back to the Ishbiya. Come back to the Ishbiya. Let the Ishbiya to be part of your life. And pray for others. God bless you. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Happy New Year, all of you.